Hi everyone, my name is Costa, and today I'm gonna try Unicorn Studio. So if you don't know what this tool does, it basically converts WebGL to no code. And you can create interactions, motion, and even 3D. So without further ado, let's get started. After you sign up, you will land on this dashboard right here, where you can find a few templates as well. And on your left side, you also have a community tab. And here you can find a lot of creative work and you can remix them. As you can see, 169 people uh, remixed this background right here. So yeah, you can do this for free as well. Now the downside is that this tool is not completely free. I mean, it is, you can use it for free, but if you want to use it in a project, you will have to pay for it. Otherwise you will get a watermark of Unicorn Studio and you don't want this in your project, right? So yeah, uh, now I will click on dashboard and I will select this warp stream. As you can see, I already tried it, but because my mic didn't work, I had to record this video again. So I'm gonna click on this warp once again. And I guess this looks very familiar to you. Uh, it's similar to Framer and Figma. It's also responsive and uh, it's very easy to use on the left side you have like the layers and on the right side you have the settings and uh, i will click on this bloom right here i don't even know what this means to be honest i guess it's the blur and if you increase the radius it's gonna get bigger but i don't see a huge difference yeah so i think it's the blur now i understand and you can also play with the intensity as well. I will decrease the intensity because this looks much better. And then go to projection. And here you can also change the scale. If you scale up, it's gonna get smaller. If you scale down, it's gonna uh, get bigger. Okay, now you also have the chromatic app, which I guess is the colors. So yeah, you can change these colors right here you can even change the speed uh, yeah now the vignette is the only thing I guess that I know what it means and uh, let's increase the vignette make it bigger like this you can change the angle as well okay that is cool actually next I will click on wisps okay so you can increase this even more I see and uh, change the angle okay this looks cool actually yeah I, I really like this one I think I like I like this one more and uh, you can increase the glow I don't want to increase the glow I want to decrease it actually and uh, yeah you can also add a track motion this means that when you hover on this background it's gonna uh, play faster I see but I hate track motions so I will disable this effect Okay, so now the question is how to import this in Framer. All you have to do is go to export, then click on embed. And here it says Framer component. You have to copy this component right here. Go to Framer. I have this free template that I'm going to use. And first, let's find the background inside the hero section. So I guess it is the background. I'm gonna hide it and instead what I'm gonna do I will select the BG animation stack and press ctrl V to paste it inside okay so I paste it actually inside the heading so, I, so I'm gonna drag it inside the background right here and put the width to relative 100% and the height to relative 100% as well center it you can't see right now anything except this warning text because uh, after you paste this component inside framer you have to do one more thing you need a, a project id so i will go back to unicorn studio and you have to copy this id right here go back to framer and paste it inside Okay, now you still can't see anything because in order to see the Unicorn Studio Embed, you have to preview it. Okay, so now as you can see, we have this beautiful effect. However, we got uh, a watermark as well. Now, can we actually hide this watermark? Yes, we can. So you need to make sure that the watermark is going to be below the next section. If I preview this now, 
as you can see the watermark is hiding below this section right here so yeah guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching see you next time